Hello my night wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today is just me doing a talking video but I didn't want to do like a talking video where I show you my face. I wanted to do a talking video where I was building in The Sims or something like that. I'm building a house. I'm really bad at building and layouts in this house and this so yeah uh I like this house but I don't like where the stairs are. <laughs> So, I don't know, the house came out really good. It's really small. It's supposed to be like a starter home kind of situation um, for like a parent and a teenager. And, but yeah, so I did like a starter home situation and I really like the house. But anyway, so uh, this is not why I'm making this video, but I also wanted to give you a little background story on the house kind of. Because that's what I was thinking while I was making it. That was when we started home for a small family of like a mom, dad, and teenager. But anyways, so recently I've been having a lot of health issues. Um, on September 26th, I went to urgent care and they did x-rays and they figured out what was causing the pain. They gave me medicine. Everything's good. I'm doing a lot better, which is great. But now I'm having hand pain. Um, one day I was laying in bed and my left hand was hurting so bad that I couldn't make a fist. Like if somebody had tried to attack me and I had to punch them, I couldn't make a fist to punch them. So I was like, oh great. And it was all in my wrist and it went up to my middle finger and I couldn't make a fist. It hurt so bad. So it went from my left hand to my right hand. Um, obviously it didn't travel because I still had pain in my left hand, but it was so weird. I was like, okay. And so I had pain in my right hand and it affected my middle finger as well. But it wasn't as bad. I could still like bend it, but not as much. Um, my hands were very weak. And I was like, oh great. <laughs> so I went from one pain to another pain and it was really hard to do anything. Like grabbing stuff was just painful. I could not do anything. And so this is before I built the house by the way. Uh, so I, my hands are doing much better and I decided to build this house. So anyway, so. I was having pain in my hands and I was sitting here working on them like trying to bend them, moving them around because I felt like the more I moved them around and just stuff, it helped the pain. So I kept like moving my hand around and the pain went away. September 30th, I went to the doctors and I told her about my back pain from Monday and because I was still kind of having some problems with that but not as bad as it was on Monday. Monday was the worst. I legitly could not sit, stand, or do anything without being in severe pain with my back. And so it was still like happening around Friday when I went to the doctors, um, but not as bad, like I said. And so I went to the doctor, I told her, and she prescribed me some more, you know, medicine to help me. Cool. I'll take that, see if that helped. It helped a lot. So there you go. That's done and over with. I told her about the hand pain. She's like, okay, what do you do for work? I'm like, I don't work. She's like, then what do you do all day? I'm like, I play video games. She's like, console, are you sitting at the desk? I told her I'm sitting at a desk on the computer playing video games. She's like, stop doing that. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, what? So she told me to stop playing video games. Not forever, obviously. But because of the way I'm sitting at my desk, it's sitting on nerves on my hands. And because of that, it's putting pressure on my wrist and on my nerves. And also, she might think it's carpal tunnel, all kinds of stuff. So she's like, keep an eye on it, do exercise, hand exercises, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that it doesn't get worse. If it gets worse, then we'll have to do x-rays and see if it's carpal tunnel, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh. Oh my god so yeah and against doctor's orders I of course decided to make a house in the Sims and to explain to you guys 
everything that's going on. So I went against the doctor's orders. Whoops. But yeah, so I'm having hand pain. Um, it's not as bad as it was the night that I got it, but if I do sit at the computer desk with, and play for a very long time, my hand does hurt. While I was in the middle of doing this, I was like almost done with it when my hand started to hurt. So it doesn't like, it's not like immediately the pain starts up, but if I sit there for quite some time, I realize like, oh, my hand's starting to hurt. So I like while I was sitting there building it, I had to stop and like rotate my wrist and do like hand exercises to get the pain to stop. But even if I though I was doing that, the pain was still was was still there. So I'm like obviously I need to stop <laughs> building. But I really wanted to finish this house because I was like so close to being it for it being done. And so I was like I'm almost done. I can handle the pain for a little bit longer. So I finished the house. And here it is. It's an interesting house. I really wanted to use the high school window where they can sneak out of the window, but I wanted it in the teenager's room, obviously. So I was trying to figure out how to use the window in the teen room so she can sneak out at night. And I was like, oh, well, she will need to be able to stand on something, climb down, and all that's like that. So I do end up figuring out how to do the teen window situation and I actually really like the idea so I made it kind of like a hangout spot where she goes out there sometimes and hangs out, look at the stars, um, plant something, I don't know, sit and drink, I don't know, <laughs> do whatever teenagers do. But yeah, so that's what I did. Um, so I thought that was very interesting of the house. But yeah, I really like this house, even though I don't like when you first walk in, you walk into the stairs, pretty much. You walk through the door and the stairs are like right in front of your face. I did not like that, but I was going to change it. But then I was thinking, if I change it, I'll have to change out the whole layout of the house. And I just couldn't bring myself to do that, and it would just take more time. And I should have done it, but... <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm going to stop doing videos like I said uh, to the doctor that I would, even though I broke the rules and I'm making this video, and tell you guys why there's no more videos for a bit. I don't know how long I'm going to take a break from doing this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to, I have these like wrist things I, I bought like a while ago, I'm, I'm going to try to find those, see if that will help while I'm, you know, recording and doing video gaming and stuff like that, but yeah, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take some time off, this is going to be my last video for a bit, and then I'll be back, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on with me and why videos won't be like showing up on my channel for a bit because I didn't want to just disappear and not like explain myself but yeah that is going to be it uh I'm having some not I say it's health issues but not really health issues it's more like hand issues uh, I don't know but yeah, so anyways, I'm going to stop talking now, continue on watching it. I did play test the house, hence why I brought uh, this girl into the house. She's a teenager. I was checked, I randomly downloaded a girl off the gallery. You guys saw that. Continue on watching. There will be a walkthrough of the house and everything like that at the end of the video, like always. But yeah, um, videos won't be happening for a bit, but eventually they will hopefully bat be back again that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you give this video a thumbs up ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me subscribe if you want to and i'll see how you put up tonight most in the next video goodbye we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more 
You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it, cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talk until you talk end. Until here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. Go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Baby, just give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you in. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. This love affair, you can make me go away. I don't really care if it's good. 